How's it going everyone? I want to give you guys a heads up on a PlayStation Plus Extra title that has been revealed, mentioned it in an earlier video, and it's one that a little upset about. Not necessarily that upset, but it's just like a filler slot, but we'll talk about it. it it's good and bad. We'll, we'll go over it. Uh, we have an update on an upcoming free-to-play title that will be having a cross-play open beta test that you'll be able to check out for free, seeing a little bit of a shift in when it's going to be kicking off. We'll talk about that. And Sifu, one of 2022's more surprising titles, will be getting its final content update in the month of September. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But just to give you guys a heads up, while Dreams is a a PlayStation Plus Essential title this month, meaning if you're an Essential subscriber, you could add it to your library, and you very much should. Um, it will also be added into the library of games into PlayStation Plus Extra. So this happened with Sackboy A Big Adventure as well, where it was offered as a PlayStation Plus Essential title one month, and then in that same month, it was offered as a PlayStation Plus Extra title. Now, the Extra catalog is a rotating catalog of games. Essential is different than Extra, because Essential, you actually redeem that title, and it's added to your library and you're able to access that title as long as you're subscribed. Extra, on the other hand, is a rotating catalog of games, so there's licensing agreements and deals involved that a game can leave the extra catalog of games and then it's gone for good. Now, the case with Dreams is that it's a first-party title, and generally speaking, first-party titles should be staying on the service, as in PlayStation Plus Extra. There was that issue with Spider-Man uh, Game of the Year Edition leaving the PlayStation Plus Extra catalog, but that was just Sony being slimeballs, and they wanted to sell you Spider-Man Remastered and wanted people to buy Spider-Man uh, ahead of the release of Spider-Man 2. That was Sony just trying to make some extra money. There was no, They didn't have to pull Spider-Man from the Plus Extra catalog. They just decided to do so so they could promote Spider-Man Remastered, at $50, but, um, yeah, generally speaking, those titles should not be leaving the service, and there's not gonna come a time where, uh, they can promote, you know, Dreams leaving the service and get people to buy it. Dreams has been kind of a, um, you know, it's been a bit of a commercial flop. I mean, that might be a little bit harsh to say, but obviously it's not the game that is going to see this longevity that we had initially thought that it was going to see, which is really unfortunate because Dreams itself is a super creative game and it showcases the creativity of a lot of people uh, that do utilize the feature set that is available in Dreams. But while it's available as a plus uh, essential title, it just got its trend update. It will also be a plus extra title later this month, so it will be in that library of games. Meaning that even if you don't have PlayStation Plus, this month, maybe down the line you want to play Dreams. If you sign up to PlayStation Plus Extra, let's say in November or December, chances are Dreams is going to be in that rotating catalog of games. It's going to be available for you and you can play it that way as well. But uh, if you're even an essential subscriber, you may as well add it to your library just in case if for whatever reason Dreams does get pulled from Extra. And mind you that if you're an Extra subscriber now, uh, in the future you might decide to lower your, your subscription status to an essential subscriber. And if Dreams is in your library, you'll still be able to access it. You guys get the idea on how all this stuff works. So um, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Moving on from that, the first Descendant, an upcoming free-to-play title, will be having a cross-platform play open beta test. It was initially scheduled for August 22nd until the 28th, but the dates have been shifted to September 19th until the 25th. As noted, the open beta dates have been adjusted to September 19th to 25th to ensure that all enlisted descendants are able to experience the title optimally on any platform of their choice. New features and improvements have come directly from players' previous beta feedback found on Discord and other official channels, prioritizing optimized performance and significant quality of life adjustments. The first descendant open beta will be available and free to play on on PC via Steam, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S, starting September 19th. Additionally, Nexon will show players how they got to the current events, and that will be experienced at the beginning of the game via a substantial prologue as they begin the open beta. Why did Volgus invade the Ingress content? Why are they trying to get a hold of the Iron Heart, and how will humanity fight back? This will all be answered in the First Descendants prologue. A bunch of major updates will be had in the game, revamp grappling hook control and new parkour movement, uh, performance, and and quality modes for PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, new module system, improved jump motions, improved gun sound effects, updated user interface and user experience elements, new additional storyline, a mysterious new map, 11 playable descendants and two ultimate descendants, 11 new ultimate weapons, each with unique effects, eight avoid intercept boss battles, two new void intercept battle maps, new cosmetic system, improved world missions and new open beta rewards as well available only to those who participate in the open beta. All participants will receive a limited edition social motion, a each Descendant level 20 to receive a back attachment customization item at launch as well. The First Descendant also has a new developer talk uh, video uploaded. You can check that out on YouTube. 
Registration for the cross-platform beta test is available right now, and uh, all you have to do is enter your email, and I think everybody should be getting into that, but don't quote me on that. Uh, it is noted to be an open beta, so again, I imagine everybody will be getting into it if you do want to go into it. Lastly, I do want to note, Sifu's final update is launching September 7th for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PS4, and PC. So Sifu is a game that came out early into 2022, and it was a surprising game coming from developer Slowclap, who also brought out Absolve. The overview of the update notes the arenas mode expands its boundaries, unveiling more unseen locations and introducing ferocious battles against familiar goons, bosses, and unexpected faces with the addition of six dynamic arenas, 75 thrilling challenges, an array of gripping modifiers and cheats, as well as film-inspired outfits. You can look forward to an adrenaline-fueled journey that will push your martial arts skills to the limit. Brace yourself for encounters with zombie-like enemies, doppelgangers, and interactive environments that will test your reflexes and strategic prowess like never before. So, Sifu, again, was a timed exclusive on PlayStation for a while. Now it's available on pretty much every platform. The game itself does go for $39.99, but the Deluxe Edition right now is actually on sale. 40% off for $29.99. Get that, that gets you the digital original soundtrack, the digital art book, and a couple of other in-game items. Now, I wouldn't be all too surprised if at some point Sifu gets added as a PlayStation Plus extra title. Look, they got their value out of the game. They brought it on over to PlayStation as a timed exclusive. Probably got a nice healthy check from Sony. Sony for that. It was also an Epic Game Store timed exclusive. They probably got a nice healthy check from the Epic Game Store on that. Now it's available on Steam. Now it's available on Xbox. People that wanted it bought it on those platforms as well. And uh, you're getting the final content update. Why not at this point get one last push for the game and make a little bit more revenue by adding it to PlayStation Plus Extra? I would not be surprised at all if by the end of the year, Sifu is available in the PlayStation Plus Extra catalog. Um, by the way, uh, the Switch update will be coming at a later date uh, comparatively to all of the other platforms. Uh, all of the other platforms will be getting the final update on September the 7th. But like I said, would not be all too surprised if this ends up on Plus Extra, Game Pass, or any of those platforms here in the near future. Given that, you know, now all their work is done with the game, I imagine Slow Clap is going to move on to their next title, whether it be a Sifu 2, whether it be something entirely different. But Sifu had a very, very strong critical reception so i wouldn't be all too surprised if they do do something that's a follow-up to this game or at least you know taking elements of this game into their next title because they took elements of absolver and parlayed that into sifu as well but that is going to do it for me again dreams is going to be a playstation plus extra title um if you have plus essential definitely add it to your library even though it's going to get added to extra first descendant cross platform open beta test free to play title there september 19th until the 25th you can check that open beta out and sifu's final update will be launching on september the 7th that's going to do it for me Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.